Hi crafters, today I'm going to show you how I made this card using the Creek Bank Creations typewriter die set. It has a moving mechanism which you can stamp your own message on or write your own message so that when you pull it up you can see more. The card will fold flat and fit into an A2 size envelope. Here is two others that I did. I did a Mother's Day, and that's the outside. And I did a Father's Day with the mini tool set. And the products that I used on these cards was the typewriter pop-up die set. And there's a stamp set that goes with it that says just a note to say. I used the Postal Edge die set. I used the Going Postal Envelope stamp set to use for the flowers. And I used the Mini Tool die set. Those are all Creek Bank Creation products and you can find them by going to www.creekbankcreations.com. So now I will show you how I made this card. First of all, for the base, I took a five and a half by eight and a half piece of paper and folded it in half. This is the outside base of our card. We're not gonna decorate the outside base today because you can decorate it to your own liking. This is what I put on the outside of mine. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in a five by eight piece of paper. And we are going to mark halfway on the long side of the paper. And it's gonna be four inches. So I'm gonna take my paper, I'm going to mark down four inches and put a pencil mark. That's the halfway point. Then I'm gonna take the other side, I'm gonna write, go down four inches and put a little pencil mark. That's going to show me where I'm going to place my die. So then I'm going to take the typewriter die and I'm going to line it up right on those little marks that I made. So you're gonna take the long little posts that stick out on the typewriter die, you're gonna line them right up on those marks and then you're going to send that through your Big Shot or your Vagabond um, to die cut it out. When you get it die cut out, it should look like this. So there's two little marks here that I've marked in red that did not get cut. So you need to take your X-Acto tool and you just need to finish making those two small cut lines. Once you have the cut lines cut out, then we will go and we will start to create our bends in our card so we can make the form of our typewriter. Next, we are going to start the process of folding our typewriter insert. And I did you a diagram so that you can see where all of the little score lines are because there's some really small areas such as here, 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 and here that we want to make sure that we don't forget to press in um, while we're trying to fold the typewriter. So here is the typewriter that I've already pre-cut and we are going to start the process of folding it. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to only bend the score lines. So I don't want you to try to crease the score lines yet. We're just going to bend them slightly. Working the score lines will make it way easier to do in the end. So I'm putting my hands on the back of the card to give it support and I'm just bending the score lines. If you use a straight edge of some kind, it makes it a little bit easier for the score lines. Today while I was in my craft room, I had a piece of chipboard on my desk, so I decided I was going to try the chipboard, and it actually worked really good for pressing my lines in. So I'm going to use my chipboard right now. I'm putting it on all of my score lines, and I'm doing a slight bend forward. 
Again, please do not crease these yet. We're just bending them so we can start working them and making them a little more pliable. I'm going to catch the ones on the side for my halfway points. And I have two more down here to do by my typewriter. And I'm just pressing on the back of the card. You can see my fingers are here on the back. And I'm just pressing on the back of the card to bring it forward. All of these score lines are being brought forward at this point. And the last one is right here. Okay, so after I've pressed all my score lines forward, you're going to notice it's rocking. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. Just have a slight U-shape to it. Then I'm going to flip mine over, and I also drew a diagram. There's only three score lines that we're going to press. And before I do that, I now is when it's a good time to put your tape on because your card is relatively flat. I taped it around all the edges. I left just my middle score line without tape going across that because I found, find it folds easier if you don't put the tape across the score line. And now we are going to press in these three score lines. Again, we're going to press them forward. So I'm going to come over to here. I'm going to press on this score line, bring it forward, and I'm going to do this one and bring it forward. Whoops. And again, I'm pressing from the back side of my card, giving it support. And the last one is this one. So I'm pressing those score lines forward. And then you're going to notice that when I turn the card over, that we actually have started the shape of our typewriter. And I did find another really cool tip that worked really well for me that I'm going to share with you. I found that if I took a pencil and I inserted it in the bottom part of my typewriter by where the keyboard was, and if I took a second pencil and I inserted it up here in the top part of my typewriter, that the typewriter pretty much takes form of how you're going to finish your score line folds. And with it doing this way, you know exactly where your mountain valley mountain valleys are when you're going to press increase your score lines in. You can't make a mistake if you have your pencils in there. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start working my score lines just a little bit more. So I'm going to pinch these just a little bit tighter. I'm going to pinch my halfway mark a little bit tighter. And I'm just going to keep working these lines just a little bit more than what I did the first time. Just to get them worked in there. Then once I've done that, I'm going to start putting my hand on the back side of the card. And I'm going to start pressing forward. And I'm going to take the one down on my keyboard first. Once I got that so it's getting pretty much creased, I'm going to take out my bottom pencil. I'm going to press that forward, and now I'm going to crease this one. Now it's time to press and crease. Then I'm going to go back to my center again. I'm going to press it up a little bit more, pinch these just a little bit more, and then I'm going to start to lay it down to my second crease, which is right here. Once I have it laid down, I'm going to crease my second one. And then I'm going to go back up to the top. I'm going to, at this point, remove my pencil. I'm going to press this crease a little bit tighter again. And you can also do this one from the back side or the front side. I like doing it from both. Getting it worked in there just a little bit tighter. Okay, and now I'm going to lay my card back down again and now it all folds in there now when i get ready to get it like this and i'm going to crease these ones a little bit solid you'll notice that i still have loops here i have not creased these two the reason being is because before i crease it you can see i'm off a little bit here so i want to make sure that i line my card up at this point and make sure that all of my edges are even here. Keep sliding on me. Here and here. Once I have them even, then I'm going to press it out. 
and press it out. And by doing this, it'll keep everything even for me. Okay, then I'm going to open my typewriter back up. And as you can see, we now have our typewriter. Now at this point, you can use it just like this and you don't have to do anything more other than decorate it. Or you can do what I did, which was an overlay. So to do my overlay, I changed colors so that I could have just a colored typewriter on my insert. So I'm gonna show you how I did the overlay. So we're gonna set this aside and I'm going to bring in my directions. I did another diagram. I used a piece of paper that was four and a half by three and a half. I took my typewriter die and just set it on the paper anywhere and I cut it out. Once I die cut it, I took my scissors and I cut all around the edges of my, the perimeter of the typewriter. And then I made sure I got those two little slits that we did in the beginning to make sure that the, those were cut. And then when I was done cutting it, you end up with this. So now we have our overlay. And to fold our overlay is really simple after doing the other one because we don't have to contend with the outside edges of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna fold the first fold backwards. The second one I'm going to fold forwards. The third one I'm going to fold backwards. And then we go forward. And we go up backwards. So every other one gets folded the opposite way like an accordion. And then when we're done, <clears throat> we have our overlay to stick on our typewriter. So at this point, if we bring in our original typewriter, you can see that this is going to set right over top of it and it will line up perfect and this is how we're gonna change the color of our typewriter. So my next step was to take and glue it. So now I'm gluing the back side of my typewriter in overlay. I'm just gonna do it quickly. Um, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you get to the edges of it so that the um, it doesn't lift on you. And then I'm going to take this and I'm just going to set it right over top of the one that is in our insert. And I find it easiest to line up this slit first. So if this slit lines up, everything else seems to fall right in place and works out perfect. So I now have that lined up. Once I have it lined up, I fold my card down, press it, pull it back up, make sure everything's still lined up. And it is. And then our next step would be to place our cartridge or rail on it. So to place our cartridge or rail on it, I am going to put two dots of glue on each one of these little knobs that are sticking out. And then I'm going to take my cartridge and I'm going to lay it right on across that and press down. I did cut two of the cartridges and layered them on top of each other so that it would be a little bit stronger so we had a little more stability because you are going to be putting your note up inside of underneath it and I think the extra stability is just a good thing to have. Now when you're die cutting the happy birthday message there is a die that comes in the typewriter set which looks like this and it die cuts a message that is longer than what you're seeing that I have down here. This message is so that if you choose to you insert this from the back side it goes up behind your black I'm just going to call it a rail right now it goes up behind your black rail and then your message can pull out extremely long so you can make this message really long. You can sit here and write a whole message to somebody if you want, and as they pull it out, they'd be able to read the whole long message. 
I chose for this, my card, I chose to just um, cut it down to three inches and then I'm gonna stick my message up through the back side of my card and I'm sticking it up into under the rail and my happy birthday. And I still have room that I can either sign it or put another personal message here if I choose to. So that's how you put the message insert in. And again, it moves back and forth. And then the next step that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put this into our base card. So our card that we did our standard five and a half by eight and a half, folded it in half. Now we're ready to put the inside of the card on this base. And to do that, I have now re un removed the tape from the back of my card and I am now ready to place it in my base. So what I do is I measure it from left to right till I get it about centered. I push it up to my center or my score line for my card match the two folds together. They don't have to be right on that line. Then I gently just let that set down. I don't press hard just in case I have to make a change. Then I tip my card on its back side and I press to make sure it's lining up, which is looking good. And then I pick up my card and I fold it in half and then I press it. I open it back up to look at it, it looks good, and then I permanently press it down. And now I have my insert into my base. For our next step, we're going to make the keyboard. To make the keyboard, I cut a piece of paper two and three quarters by two and a quarter. Then what I did is I laid my keyboard die on it and I just cut that out on a solid piece of black. So what I ended up with was that, okay? So now we have a solid piece of black that has just the keyboard on it. Then I took a piece of blue and I laid this on again and I put the keyboard itself keys into the die I lined it up and then I sent that through the Big Shot or your um, Big Kick, Vagabond, whatever you use. I die cut that out. When you die cut that out, it looks like this. So the next step would be to place this over top of your black and then you will be able to see your keys through in a different color. I used Creek Mink Creation Super Tacky Tape on the back of my keyboard because I didn't want to get glue through all those keys. So you take the super or you take the keyboard. Um, you can put a little bit of undo on your piece of black, which will help to suspend adhesion while you try to put your keyboard on so that you you can move it around to get the keyboard on. Okay, and now my keyboard is together. And the next step is to insert the keyboard into our typewriter. You're going to put it in through this slot. Now, there's a tab where you can, there's little score lines where you can bend these tabs down to get it in the slot. But I found you really only have to bend down one because then if you insert it in the slot, slide it sideways, pinch together your tab, stick it through the slot. Once it's through the slot, you pull your tab back out straight so your keyboard can't go anywhere. And then we have our keyboard attached to our typewriter. I did it in a little bit different color just so that you could see the difference in the color from the keyboard to the typewriter, but um, you certainly can put it in any colors you want. You can keep it all the same color, different colors. That's just a personal preference of what you choose to do. So this is going to complete our video for today of how to use the typewriter die set to create an insert for the inside of your card. 
I will show you my samples one more time. My samples will I use for Get Well. I use the um, Going Postal Envelope stamp set for the flowers in the front of this. And I also, for the outside, I use the Postal Edge die set. And then I did the Mother's Day card. And the Mother's Day card I used with balloons. And for the outside of this one, I also used the Going Postal stamp set and the Postal Edge die set. And for my Father's Day card, I used the mini tool set. These are all from Creek Bank Creations. And you can go on their website at www.creekbankcreations.com to um, see all of the different stamps and die sets that they have. This will end our video for today. And I want to thank you all for watching and hope you have a great day.